Today, we're diving into the story of one of the most legendary steam locomotives in British railway history, GWR 3700 class. Number 3440, better known as City of Truro. Built in 1903 at Swindon Works under the guidance of George Jackson Churchwood, this 440 locomotive quickly cemented itself into railway folklore thanks to a very bold claim. It may have been the first steam locomotive in the world to exceed 100 miles per hour. The moment that made history came on the 9th of May, 1904. While hauling the Ocean Mail Special Express from Plymouth to London, Paddington, city of Truro, allegedly reached a top speed of 102.3 miles per hour while descending Wellington Bank in Somerset. The claim was recorded by railway journalist Charles Rouse Martin, who used a stopwatch and quarter mile timing. Although the GWR didn't officially promote the speed at the time, fearing skepticism and safety concerns, the figures were quietly passed around the enthusiast world. To this day, debate continues over whether city of Truro truly broke the 100 mile per hour barrier. But the legend lives on. City of Truro was the 2000th locomotive built at Swindon Works and was originally numbered 3440. It featured inside cylinders, slide valves and a copper-capped chimney, quintessential GWR styling. Over its working life, it was upgraded several times, including the addition of a superheater in 1911 and piston valves in 1915. In 1912, the locomotive was renumbered to 3717, but rail enthusiasts have always known it best by its original number. The locomotive served until 1931 and was saved from the scrapyard thanks to its fame. It spent many years as a static exhibit before being returned to steam in the 1950s and again in 2004 for the centenary of its record-breaking run. It took part in mainline excursions and heritage events before retiring once more. Today, City of Truro is preserved at the Steam Museum in Swindon, just yards from where it was originally built. Whether or not it truly reached 100 miles per hour, City of Truro remains a symbol of British engineering ambition and the romance of the steam age. It holds a special place in the hearts of railway enthusiasts across the world and continues to be celebrated as one of the greats. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more stories from the golden age of steam. Let us know in the comments. Do you believe City of Truro really hit 100 miles per hour?